Hey, Russell Leeds here, and welcome to part five of the winner sales system. So very, very quickly to recap, uh, W is for one over, you've got to be one over, you've got to love your product. I is for investigate, N is no brainer, next N is for negotiate, and now we are on E, which is for eliminate excuses. So you're in this part of the sale where you've, you've spoken to the, your, uh, you've spoken to your prospect, you told them all about what it is that you do, you found out that they really want it, you've, you've put together a brilliant script, you've closed, and then what tends to happen at this point is rather than them just saying yes or no, they'll tend to hit you with some sort of excuse. Now, the truth is, is that mostly when they, when they hit you with these excuses, it's not the real reason, right? The real reason will be they're not totally sold on the product, or they don't totally trust you, or they just don't feel comfortable for whatever reason. But rather than saying to you, rather than turning around and saying to you, hey Russell, it sounds great, but I don't trust you. Or rather than say, hey Russell, it sounds great, but I think I can get a better deal down the street. People don't like to be that confrontational. So instead, they'll come up with some sort of excuse. And you've probably heard them before if you're in sales, something along the lines of, sounds great, but I'd like to speak to my wife. Or, um, and, I'll, and I'll get back to you. Or, mm, let, me have a, let me have a think about it and uh, I'll get back to you once I've thought about it. So they're gonna give you enough false hope that you kind of think there's potential to be a sale, but not really anything you can say about it. And most salespeople at this point will just will just bow out. They'll just say, okay, yeah, no problem. I look forward to hearing from you. Or they'll say, yeah, speak to your wife and then let me know when you're done, okay? And they'll buy into it. But here's the thing, it's not really the truth. So your job is to find out, and I say it's not really the truth, 99% of the time it's not the truth. It might be that they genuinely do have to speak to their wife, but most of the times it's not the case. If you've done your investigation work correctly and, and done your sale well. So your job is to kind of get the truth out of them at this point by overcoming their objection, by eliminating their excuse. So how do you do that? Well, you often find that when you, when you, you will assume that there is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different possible different excuses that there might be. There's actually, there's actually not that many. So what I want you to do is I want you to write down every single excuse that you ever get. Okay, so every time you get an excuse, write it down, write it down, write it down. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna script answers to eliminate the excuse. You don't have to think on your feet. You don't have to be a wizard here at coming up with any, any possible response because there's not actually that many. You might find there's, depending on your business, there might be like 10. Uh, tops okay there's probably going to be less than that it's the same things that come up over and over and over again so you're gonna you're gonna work out what they are and then once you know what they are then you're gonna come up with an answer that eliminates it so let me show you, show you what I mean I'll give you an example so one of the ones that we get in our industry all the time is I want to speak to my wife I let me let me speak to my wife or let me speak to my husband and uh, and I'll get back to you so our response to this Okay, first of all, you always agree. Okay, you always agree, first of all, that it seems like a reasonable thing to do. Okay, you don't want to be confrontational at this point. Why do you want to speak to your wife? I heard one sales guy, he said something along the lines of, um, do you have to run every single decision you make past your missus? And it's like, no, 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 don't, don't say that. You don't want to offend, you don't want to get in an argument with them. Okay, so you always agree. So I, they said to you, I want to speak to my wife. I'd say, of course, yeah, that totally makes sense, not a problem at all. And then, you ask a question that flips it on his head. So my question for this might be, for example, yeah, I get that, totally problem, no problem at all. Uh, let me ask you a question though. What are you gonna do if your wife says no? Now they've now got two possible answers for you at this point. One answer is that they say, well, I would do it anyway. And one answer is that they would say, well, I wouldn't do it anyway. Okay, so they're the possible two. So you've narrowed it down to either a, a sale or a non-sale. So if they say, well, I'd do it anyway, I go, brilliant, let's get you all signed up. I need your okay here and here, and you can tell her afterwards, <laughs> right? If they say no, uh, if she says no, I wouldn't do it, then you go, oh, and why do you think she might say no? Now, at this point, does their wife even know about the offer? No. So the only person that knows about the offer is them. So when they tell you why they think their wife might say no, what are they really telling you? They're telling you why they are thinking no. So you're finding out the truth of what it is that they want. So they might say, well, my, my wife might think that it's too expensive. So boom, you now know that they think that it's too expensive. So now you have to sell them on the value of what you've got. So you eliminate the excuse, you, you ask them questions, so you, you agree with them, and then you ask them questions to show them a different perspective, and then you go back into into your sale 
Okay, so you, you're never going to, it doesn't matter if you feel like you've completely answered the excuse. Because remember, the excuse, it's not like an argument. You don't want to argue them about it. You want to agree with them, offer them a different point of view, and then go back into selling. Rather than arguing with them or trying to prove it wrong. Well, no, you do, why do you have to put your wife? Are you not allowed to make decisions on your own? Are you not the credit? You, know, you don't want to be doing that sort of crap. You want to just agree, ask them a question to show a different point of view, and then carry on selling. Because the real reason that they're coming up with an excuse is because they're not ready. You haven't sold them enough. They're not ready to make a decision. And your job is to get them to a point where they aren't ready to, to make a decision. And it's not a no, it's just a, a barrier to try and uh, alleviate their problem to make a decision right now. And your job is to push it so you get a decision right now, whether it be yes or whether it be no. But remember, if you're doing it correctly, if you're totally won over on your products, and if you've done the investigation and you know that it's a good fit for them, then you can, you can go in hard. You, know? you, you want to help them make the right decision. You want to match their needs with your products. There's, there's no shame in doing that whatsoever. Uh, so just make sure that you've got an answer for each one. And then that way, you don't have to, you don't have to think on your feet. You know, when someone says, ah, oh, uh, let me speak to my wife. I know exactly what I'm going to say. Word for word, I know what I'm going to say. It's the same every time. And you want the same for when they say, I want to think about it. I've got my answer for that. And when they say, oh, I haven't got my card on me. I've got my answer for that. And I've got my answer for all the different things that they might possibly say. And you need to do the same for you. And the basic rule of thumb, really, really simple. It's just agree and then offer them a different point of view and then go back into selling. So that is what you do, that is how it works. That's how you eliminate excuses. I hope you found that pretty useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, please do comment below or any thoughts, I'd love to hear your comments. Do not forget to subscribe. This is the fifth step of the winner sales system. We've got the next one coming next week and you can watch the previous ones in the previous weeks as well. Uh, guys, see you next week.